the blues on the violin. It's not something you hear every day, but for me, it's something that I love to do. And I'd like to show you and talk to you about how to play blues on the violin. So, first of all, what is blues? Blues is a feeling. It's an emotion, quite often associated with a sad feeling. When you sing the blues, you're, something's happened in your life and you want to express it. So it's really um, a lovely emotional art form that you can use to um, release the sad feelings that you might have or not necessarily sad, they can be any feelings that you feel that you must release in music. That's the beautiful thing about music. It can uh, communicate emotions. So when you play, whatever it is you play, whether it's classical or jazz or improvisation of some sort, it's important not just to play scales and arpeggios and uh, um, notes. The notes have to have meaning. So I, I want you, when you take your own improvisations, I want you to close your eyes and imagine a situation or imagine, uh, write some lyrics or imagine a poem and consider that poem or consider a skyline, a beautiful sunset, or perhaps a stormy day, a storm and that uh, makes you sad. You can express that with your emotion of music. But to get to that place, there are certain uh, guidelines that we uh, have to play the blues. Let's start with the key of G. Open G and D are fifths and spell the chord G. In the blues, there's really three chords. One is G, one is C, and we cross over and make the fifth of C to G. And then that's the four chord. And then the fifth chord in the key of G is D. And so we play the fifth of that, we have the chord of D. So very simply, it's four bars of G. One, three, two, three, four, up to the four chord, two, and now back to the one chord. Up to the five, E to four, two bar, and back to G. Now five for one last bar. That's very simply put, the blues. So we, when we're playing uh, rhythm, when we hear a rhythm guitar or a piano playing uh, a rhythm music for backing, 